Hi besties, we are back and we are doing a hair waiver tutorial today. I'm very excited. So this baby has quickly become like my favorite hair tool in a long time. It just gives the prettiest beachy waves and it lasts. It's super easy to use. So I figured let's do a little toot today. If you're new, Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. My name is Sarah, new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. If you're not new, what up fam, let's go. Welcome back. Okay, so this waiver, it is from the brand, insert name here. They have a ton of different hair products. I believe they have like clip-ins, bunch of tools. I found this one on Amazon. It was highly reviewed um, well. So I was like, let's get her, let's get her. So. I love her. Um, we just plugged it in. We're gonna turn it on like that. And then I usually just keep it at the Fahrenheit that it's at. I think it was at like 370. You can see it's going up and it's telling you how hot it is. It goes really quick. This will probably be all the way up to like 370 in a minute or two. Before you start, you're gonna want a heat protector. I have already sprayed one in my hair, but I'm gonna link one for you below. Make sure you're using a heat protector before you use heat on your hair. Next thing we're gonna do while that heats up, we're going to section our hair. So personally, I like a middle part with this hairstyle. I'm gonna just section my hair. I'm gonna grab like the top section and pull it up. We're gonna do a little clippy clip, just like that. And then we're gonna start with this bottom section of hair. Just make sure all of this is like out of your way. Okay, so you can see this section, my hair is pretty fine. So honestly, a few times, the few times that I've done this, I haven't even sectioned my hair off because I don't really need to, but I know it's gonna be better if we do a little breakdown. Okay, so we are, we're almost there, we're at 293. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a section of hair about this big. You can be like pretty, you can use like pretty big sections with this because the clamp is so big. The most important thing I would say is that you are grabbing sections that are going like across and not down. So you don't want to grab a section like this because when we clamp it, it's just harder. So I like to grab like straight across and then I'll go kind of go down. So here's what the section of hair looks like. Okay, we are here. We're going to start with the clamp underneath and we are just going to clamp her, leave her for like five, six seconds. Doesn't need to be long. Let it go. Now you're going to flip it so that the clamp is on top and you're basically just gonna go down to where you didn't already clamp the hair. Don't worry about it. It doesn't need to be like a perfect, like, you know what I mean, section. And then once we get to the bottom, flip it again so that the clamp is on the bottom underneath and then do that last little piece and there you have it personally i find that doing it this way makes the wave like just a little bit more wavy and less like floofy those aren't words but i think you guys understand I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this next section i told you guys my hair is fine that bottom layer was only two pieces which is amazing so let's follow this process all the way down one thing to know, I like to leave the ends out a little bit if you can. Doesn't need to be a ton, but just a little. That way the ends aren't like curled. They're kind of straight. Okay, so that's that side. Now we do this side, same exact way. Obviously, depending on how long your hair is, that's how many times you're gonna have to flip it. But if you have shorter hair, you might only have to do it twice, like one little flip -aroo. That one was really good. And like anything, the more you do this, the better you'll get. You can also swap. So like when you get to the next, the second piece, start with the barrel or the clamp under and then flip it to clamp on top. This is just gonna add a little bit more body and make it a little less like perfectly waved where all the waves fall together. But it's honestly so easy, you guys. It's literally just clamping it, holding it and taking it out. There's no like, there's really no technique. This side turned out so good honestly even better than this side but it's okay because this is the lower section of hair so it honestly doesn't matter gonna do a quick little spray honestly can't believe how good this section came out this is the aveda air control hairspray 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 it's my fave okay so now i'm gonna take this section that i already did i'm gonna pull it to one side so that i don't get you know confused i actually think i might just do the right side first clip this up do this side first since all the hair is over here it's just easier and then i'll pull it all over to the other side so this section is obviously much more important because 
this is what you're actually gonna see. So we wanna just be a little more mindful of this section. Not that we weren't before, but again, section about this big. See how it's very flat, it's a flat section. I'm gonna start with the clamp on the bottom. Let me do. Clamp on top. Let me do. And I'm gonna leave that much hair out. And there she is. Okay, repeat this until we get to the front because I have these shorter pieces. One thing I will say really quickly, I think on the top section, it's important that the clamp is on the bottom for the first, for the top of the head, so that you don't get a weird crease, if that makes sense. Um, because you'll get a weird crease like right here if you clamp, if you do the clamp. Look at how good that one came out. Wow, I'm so happy with that. And then if you get any weird like bottom pieces, you can always just like take your straightener and like kind of curve them so that they're not sticking out. But look how full that looks. All right, so now we're gonna do, I might just like quickly grab, I kind of just wanna do this section really quickly that's not my bangs so that it's done. See that short piece, I only needed two. I only needed to flip it once. Okay, so now we're here. It's the, basically the most important section because it's what frames my face. So this piece, remember, you want the clamp on the bottom. If you don't do the clamp on the bottom, for the rest of it, it's okay, but this piece you gotta, and you just don't need to hold it that long. Like, when in doubt, take it out. <laughs> okay, we killed it. My only hang up is this little piece is like a little, I don't think this little piece got in it. So just make sure if you're touching up, you want that barrel to go in the exact same place as it did the first time you put it down. And I'm just doing that for two seconds because I wanted these front pieces. Okay, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Let's finish it off with the exact same thing on this side. But I am gonna take all my hair and swing it over here so that now when I take this down, all of this is the straight. The other thing, try to keep the barrel as straight as possible. If you go like diagonally, the waves are gonna go diagonally. So you just wanna keep it pretty straight. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but like look how nice these are turning out. I'm very happy. So with my hair, it was really only like five or six sections on each side, which is pretty good. If you don't have shorter pieces in the front or curtain bangs of any kind, this is gonna be so much easier for you. It's just harder when your hair is a little shorter. But exact same process, make sure that, that clamp is underneath, okay? just want to make sure the sections are like it's as far away from your head as it was on the other side okay so here is the hair fully waved I'm gonna hit it with a little hairspray mostly need to get these you know my front my little front pieces and then just let this hold okay so here's the final hair I genuinely love it. I think it is so fun. It gives my hair so much body too. Like for someone who has really fine, thin, flat hair, it's like does wonders. I really feel the most important thing is that these lines are like this. And that comes from putting that clamp underneath. If you have the clamp on the top, you're gonna get a weird straight line right here and it's not what you want. I love this hairstyle for so many reasons. I feel like I love that it lasts. Um, this is gonna last me like two to three days and I'll just put my hair up in like a loose bun at night or like a low bun and it'll hold. The other thing is that the hairstyles that you can do with this hairstyle are so fun. For example, you could do a cute high pony. You could do a little like bun, like a little clip bun with these pieces down in front and you just look like a curly haired girly, which I never do, my hair is so straight. I just think this is so cute. You could do like a half up with pieces down. You, I mean, the sky's the limit. I'm just gonna leave mine down today because I just think this is a vibe. It's very mermaid. I really wanna like go throw a swimsuit and a cute outfit on and like go relax, but that's not the reality of my life. <laughs> But here is a close up of the hair, top to bottom. Let me give you a view, a 360 view. 
hoping the back looks as good as I think it does. This is how I do the 360 view. I spin around in my chair. <laughs> so there you have it, girlies. I hope you loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it out. Let me know if you do. I'm going to link the waiver for you guys in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.